Alright guys, this is the Smex, and I am going to show you how to use the Boot Animation Factory. It's pretty simple, and there is a prerequisite. Alright, what you have to do first, before you do anything, is make a work folder. I just called mine the Boot Animation Folder. Alright, you have to have a, te a text document, sorry about that text document and name it D-E-S-C and when you go into it mine's different hold on you need 1282 space 803 space 1 and then right below it you have to put a P that's pretty much telling the program alright stop this is going to be a new command then you put 0 I put 2000 for mine, you really don't have to put that. You can if you want, it doesn't really change too much about it. And then you put folder 1, which is going to be your folder over here. You can name it whatever you want as long as it's the same right here and right there. I'll just save that. And then in folder 1, in numeric order, however, whatever order you want it to be in, Make sure you don't skip any numbers. You need a PNG file. If you skip any numbers, then it's going to be a very, very glitchy uh, animation for your phone. So the reason that I have several is because I'm not making my animation to where it's really doing anything except for putting pictures in there. A uh, sequence of pictures that'll start up the same, like that, and it just goes right down the line, so you don't really have to change anything with that. And then tone, you don't need tone. I just put that in there, just so that I know exactly where my ringtone is going to be at, even though my ringtone doesn't really work in it. Don't know what I did wrong there, but it, my phone just won't play it while it starts up. Now you gotta. Well, real quick, since uh, I'm pretty sure you saw it, you have to go to New, choose your folder, find out where you put your folder, I put mine in round, and then you have to highlight the folder itself, don't highlight any of the subfolders inside of it, just that one folder, hit OK. Now up here, for me, it just doesn't put it in right, it doesn't put the codes in right. So you have to change that yourself. Now, my phone is a Samsung Galaxy Prevail. So my screen size is relatively about 340 for the width and then about 490 for the height. And I put my frames per second at one. If you're trying to make an animation to where you're putting a whole bunch of PNG files in there so that it would move along with it, then you want to keep it at 30. I put mine at 1 because it goes way too quickly and it just goes straight through it. Alright, now you want to click add loop and put in your folder that has all your files. You can put it on 0 right there so that it will continuously replay and I always put mine on 2000. Alright, if you don't want to put 0 and you just why not take another easy route to where you would understand it better? You can click repeat instead. Now, mine is set to go straight into that folder, that boot animation folder, and then go straight into tones for me. So that's why it makes it easy for me again. And then you want to use custom size. Now, when you go to preview it, it's going to put all that stuff into one, which isn't a lot, but it'll show you what it's doing so that you can check it beforehand and that's mine right there it's just how uh, I like mine so and then it'll just repeat afterwards and the song will keep going on it's nothing special but I like mine like that so what you want to do is you want to save the boot animation 
and make sure that you save it as boot animation. Don't save it as anything else. It's your phone's going to recognize it as boot animation. So leave it at that. You don't have to put that zip after it. It's automatically going to do that. Then you click save. Now to put it onto your phone, connect it via USB. I'll do that right now. Alright, it's connected. You don't have to do anything in here. You don't have to open your files. You don't have to do anything. And now you want to flash it to your phone. Go to your boot animation right there and then go and find your sound. Now you want to click wait for device and reboot after flash so that you know that it's working. Click flash to phone, that huge button right there, unless you have it in a smaller screen to where it's just going to be that. And then you wait for it. And it's automatically going to reboot your phone. My phone's rebooting right now. And that's pretty much it. Any problems, uh, you can either post it in the comments, but it should work. So, yeah, and this is the Boot Animation Factory. All right very easy to find you can google it and it'll automatically go and find everything that you want well the this program that you want you just have to click on the right source so yeah thanks for tuning in subscribe to my videos whatever you don't have to i would appreciate if you did though but yep i'll catch you next time with uh... some more tutorials on stuff All right.